Waffles in a McDonald's food to use in your mobile app today. An all too familiar sound of muffled workers taking your order through the drive through. But it's those same voices who spoke loud and clear when they demanded higher pay and got it. Those with 60 or more locations nationwide would have to pay their workers at least $20 an hour. This change goes into effect on April 1st, 2024. And while this is a big win for the fast food industry, how will this change affect the rest of the job market? I went to COC's Employment Center to find out. Um, it, other companies can't continue to raise their wages based upon what fast food is doing. You know, at the end of the day, our companies have to make a profit. And with fast food having the upper hand in the wage war, employees of other industries will start to wonder, when is it going to be their turn to get that big bump in pay? Unless it's legislated, they're, they're not going to follow it. I mean, the reality of it is, you know, the, uh, various skill sets demand w the appropriate compensation. While I was at the employment center, they were holding an open house for those looking to start work. This is our first of several events for our students in preparation for our job fair. As job seekers filled out their online profiles, we got to learn more about how the next generation workforce is evolving. The relationship we have with work has changed, and so I think we have to consider that. So one of the things as we are working with students is that we recognize that the nature and the future of work is very different than what it's ever been. Work now is negotiable, and many of our younger workers are choosing just to enter workforce to meet the basic needs. For Canyons News, I'm Ian Gutierrez.